isn't that something? That was worth the money. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? How you doing? I hope you're having a good one today. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I do quite a bit in my live streams. So if you watch any of my live streams, you know that most of the time, like probably 99% of the time, I start off my live streams with at least an hour of doing gesture drawings. And I've gotten several questions over the course of time over doing this, you know, people have asked me, how do you get poses like, you know, fluid, how, you know, how, how do you start a pose? How, you know, the, just a bunch of questions about how I do my gesture drawings and how I make them look uh, flowy and solid, like a person and not just like a, a, a blob, I guess, or, or not just like a very stiff, very stiff stick figure type thing. And today is going to be part one of my journey, of the journey into getting you guys started with gesture drawing. So today's video is going to be probably the most simple of all the videos and they're going to get progressively harder or more challenging as the videos progress. So today is just going to be a simple exercise, but it's a very useful exercise. It will teach your mind and your brain. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. So before we start this exercise, the first thing that we need to get out of the way is we need photographs. I'm not going to steal photographs from the internet and use them for our own uses. I'm going to take photographs myself. Well, I have some help taking photographs of myself. And with these photos, we are going to use the various poses that I do. And we're going to trace over them. But we're not just going to trace over them. I will show you exactly what we're going to be doing after we take the photos. So here we go. You to like tell me like three poses to do just like off the top of your head and I'll just and I'll just try my best. Neil? Is this is this does this look like is that kneeling? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh fighting pose. Uh who am I fighting? Like You're fighting a guy that has a samurai. A sword? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Last one would be just a lonely guy alone in his room. <laughs> so like sad? Is sad good? Okay. Is that sad enough? Yes. So that was fun. Uh <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so now that we have taken our various photos for, for better or worse. We are now ready to begin tracing over our poses. And I know what you're thinking when I say tracing. There's a lot of negative connotations with tracing. And when you're using tracing to practice and not to just share online and go, hey, this is my original art, buy my stuff or anything like that, you're pretty much fine to trace as long as it's for an educational tool and not for a tool of just don't be evil. <laughs> But since we've taken pictures of our poses, we are now ready to trace over them. And we're not tracing over them in the traditional sense of, okay, let's bring it down into here, okay? So we're not tracing these images in the traditional sense of like, oh, I'm just going to go in here and oh, layer is hidden. That is a great start. <laughs> we're not just going in here like this and tracing around my, my mug like this. You know what I mean? We're not doing anything like that. No, what we're doing is we're trying to find the essence of the pose. And this is not really teaching you draftsmanship. This is more so teaching you visualization. So what we're going to do is I'm going to back up a little bit here. And you see how my limbs are going like this. My arm is going like that, leg like this. What I want you guys to do is take the various points that exist here, various points. You can make a dot. You can do whatever you want. But basically what I want you to do is simplify my pose. And what I mean by that is I'll show, I'll show you this. And I want you to keep it as simple as possible. This is about visualization, not detail, okay? You see my arm going like this, creating, creating an arc? I want you to just, boom, boom, do, do something like this, okay? Just something like this. Same with, same with the center of my body. See how it's kind of going like that? It's kind of going, making an arc shape. Just go ahead and just do something like this, okay? Doesn't have to be super fancy, literally just, just literally like that. It looks crude, but it's effective. This is how I learned to simplify my poses. Same thing with this arm right here. Don't be jagged like that. Don't, don't be jagged and make hard edges. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. Make sound effects. It helps. <laughs> just like this. And I don't care how many times, I don't care if you make hairy, hairy, aren't like, like this, it doesn't matter. 
I, I don't care. As long as the pose is simplified, that's fine. Something like this. You can do like a circle for the head. And by the way, I've mentioned this in previous videos. Use your elbow and your shoulder to draw like this. Don't use your wrist like this. I don't want chicken. I don't want this. I don't want this. If I, if I see this, if I see this chicken scratchy stuff, if I see chicken scratchy stuff like that, I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I'm going to find you and I'm going to tell you not to do that. <laughs> So this is pose number one, where once again, we're doing the same thing with the legs. You don't have to worry about the hands. Now you can just make them like a ball or, or anything. You don't have to worry about the hands right now. Put a line. If you're drawing a circle for the head, draw a circle for the head. Uh, when you're drawing a circle for the head, put also a line in the center of the neck, just so you can get used to neck placement as well. And this will teach you a good technique of drawing the torso, the arms. And now we're going to go to the legs. The legs are going to be, it's not going to be as fully because this one is bent especially, but don't put hard edges. Don't put hard edges. It flows. It's flowing like a river. You can even put center lines and just trace around as long as they're heading in this direction and being very smooth, very smooth. Just trace around my limbs and then go down into the feet. You don't have to draw the feet. Just stop right there. Just like that. Okay. You don't have to draw the feet. Just keep it like that. Simple, simple, simple. Same with the back. And you can see the line, line of action is happening in this pose right now. You can see going from the center to my leg right here, right here, this leg, it all is one big line. Okay, so then the same thing here, just flow, flow, flow. Okay, just like that. And now when I get rid of this image, you can see it looks very clear. This pose is pretty clear. And... This is a pretty extreme exaggeration because you're making everything so flowy. But when you learn how to make stuff flowy like this, it's easy to bring that back. But making something stiff look less stiff is harder to do backwards. It's harder to make something that's stiff look less stiff. It's easier to make something that's less stiff look more stiff and detailed as you add more detail to it. So this is basic step number one. And we're going to go through with all these images, all these images and show you guys the same thing. These images will be provided in the link below by the way, so you can download these images and use them yourself. And I also encourage you to take pictures of yourself in the poses that you want. So that way you can get a really good idea of how to draw anything, any pose that you want. You can use your phone, you can use a camera, whatever, take a picture of yourself in a pose and then trace over that just like I'm showing you how to do right now. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. And this next pose is a kind of a basic stance. It's not too complicated. And I include this one on purpose. So that way you're not just doing crazy like poses. It's like, you know, often, oftentimes you're going to be drawing more basic poses. Like it's not very often that even if you're drawing something like anime, it's not very often that you're going to be drawing all these crazy fighting poses, even in an anime like Dragon Ball Z. Think about it. Fighting happens and crazy poses happen maybe 25% of the time. And the rest of the show is characters talking, interacting in a more average setting. So this, so this pose is really good for that. So this will teach you a basic stance and I'm going to start off. I, I typically start off with the torso, but you can start anywhere you want. Uh, a lot of people start with the head as well, but you can also start with a limb, whatever sticks out to you first. My rule of thumb, whatever sticks out to me first visually is usually the thing that I wind up drawing first because then I can base the rest of the drawing off of that. And it's leading it. You're, you're following your own intuition and your own eye. And that's really useful. So I'm going to start off with the torso on this one. Just simple, simple, simple once again. And I'm going to put the spine on this one. That's a good practice to have just so you can get a good center, you know. And so there's the torso. There's the torso. And through that, through the center line, I can draw up to my neck. And I can add a circle for the head just like that. Now we have our neck, the head. And then let's add our arm. And we're going very, very loose once again. Woo, woo, woo. It's a roller coaster. It's like a roller coaster. It's like a roller coaster. We're not, and you don't have hard edges in a roller coaster. You know what happens if you have a hard edge, hard turn in a roller coaster? Well, I don't want to talk about it. So we're drawing this arm like that. Very, very flowy. Go around this next arm. Flow it. It's just flow, 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 flow. I don't care how many lines you put here. I don't care if it looks like a hairy mess. Just put that flow, put circles for the hands. I think that's going to be useful. Just put circles for the hands. Just flow it like that. Okay. And then we're coming down to the legs again. Flow, flow, flow. And that's it. Okay. 
Just boom, boom. I'm going through these a little bit quicker now because I think you get the idea. I, you guys are smart. I know. So, one, and then when you go down to the feet, just flow in the direction of the feet. It doesn't have to be anything specific. This is just, this is more so teaching your eye and your hands do the basic big movements than it is to do the small specific ones because a lot of artists get way too caught up in the small specific details. Just go for the big, big ones for right now. And then you can focus on the small stuff later. So now if we get rid of this layer right here, the photos, you can see. Looks like it looks like that stance. It looks like that stance. You you're getting you're getting the basic premise of the pose. This this is the outline of the book versus like the words in each paragraph. Do you know what I mean? So this is a great exercise. So keep going. We have three more images. Just keep going. I believe in you. So we're on the next one here, the super super tough guy pose. <laughs> The super tough guy pose. It's it's totally uh, intimidating, right? Totally intimidating. It doesn't look like I'm cowering in fear uh, at all. Definitely not. Definitely not. So we'll start with this one. And as you can see, there is a big line of action happening in this pose. R look at all the way from my head down to my leg. That is a big line of action. That is what I like to call the tree. That's what I like to call the tree. So the big line of action like that is treated like a tree. So, and when I call it a tree, I mean, the, 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 the middle of the tree is the strongest part where all the branches come off of, right? So the base center of the tree is the line of action and all the branches are all the extras. Okay. But the line of action is the most important thing. So this is our line of action right here. I'm going to keep the arrow. I'm going to keep the arrow like that. That's our line of action right there. We'll continue the torso just like this. And our branch number one is this arm like that, just like this. And I'm kind of, uh, simplifying it. Uh, I'm, I'm once again, I'm simplifying it, but I'm also making it flow. See, and it's hairy. I don't care. Put the hand like that and just make it a circle. Okay. Let's go to the next arm. It's just like a U shape. It's just like a U shape. Let's put our hand again, just like that. Just trace over it. Okay. You can add as many lines as you want. Once again, I don't care. Let's add the head like that. Okay. Then for the leg, let's start off with the leg that is off of the line of action because we already kind of have the leg for the line of action. So right here, once again, no hard edges, just whoop, 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 just like that. And then for here, just loop it any way you want just to show that there is a foot there. And let's finish off with this last leg. And that's going to be the simplest one, just a straight, you know, straight line. And then we will go in and just like loop that foot just like that. Now when we take this image away, boom. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? And now you can use this. You can use this even if you want to later, if you want to, it's not even a cheat. It's just like, it's a fun tool to have. It's a good tool to have. You can use this later. You can use this later, especially if you're taking your own pictures, especially if you're taking your own pictures, you can use this later and use it for anything you want. Now you have the base for a action-y pose. This may be the guy who's losing the fight, but it's still an action pose. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. And if you guys are drawing along with me, you guys are doing great. And let's just keep it going. Let's keep, let's keep this. We're, we're almost on the final stretch here. We're almost on the final stretch here. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> and if you thought the last pose was a guy losing a fight, this is a guy who's about uh, to get hit. <laughs> This is like, this is like in, in like an anime, like when the final blow is about to happen to the enemy, it's like, Ugh! Yeah, I'm definitely losing this fight. <laughs> but once again, there's a really good line of action here. Really good line of action. I'm going right from the head all the way down to this leg. Kind of the same as before, but it's still a different pose. Clearly distinct from the other one. So we have that line of action going from the foot, to the head. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's start off with the arm this time. This arm right here. So let's loop this around just like that. Put a ball for the hands. We're going fast this time. You guys know. You got it. You're you're pros now. You're pros at this. I know you got this. Loop for the arm. Loop for the arm. Hand. Okay. Get a little bit there too. Loop for the arm. Put the hand like that. Go like this for the torso. As many lines as you want. Who cares? Okay. Loop for the leg. Like that. Everything's a roller coaster. You don't want any hard edges. Boom. Boom. For the leg. Go like that. I'm going in this kind of way. This kind of way. Okay. Let's I forgot the circle for the head. I mean, I'm a professional. I didn't forget anything. You saw, you saw wrong. All right, now let's get rid of this pose. And as you can see, perfecto. It's great. 
You got that. You got that. Good. It's clear. Anybody walking off the street and go, hey, what does it look? What does this look like to you? And they would go probably looks like somebody going like like this and clarity. It's all clarity. OK, now let's move on. And you guys are pros at this by now. You guys are just experts at this. You're you're kicking it. You're kicking it. OK, so here we go. And this is the disappointed. This is the disappointed face of the sad man who lost <laughs> the fight. He's walking home. He's walking home now. He's not happy about the fight that he just lost. He got humiliated and his lunch money got taken away. Okay. So our line of action has changed a little bit. It used to be on this leg, right? But now it has moved to this leg. So let's trace over the line of action just like that. And if you can spot this, that's fantastic. If you can spot that, that's fantastic. We got our line of action, our head right here. Perfect. Even if you just want to do this as an exercise, that's great. If you just want to find the line of action and put a head at the end of it, that is already a great start. And then you can kind of move up to where we are, you know, and let's quick one more time, put the lines for the arm, just like that. Put a hand at the end, trace over that arm, put a ball at the end. Let's trace over that torso a couple more times just for clarity. Okay. Trace over that leg once again for clarity. One more time for this back leg. We're going down like this just because that's my habit. And we'll go over this foot. And there we go. There we go. Let's get rid of that image. And boom. You got it. This guy's standing. He's clearly not happy. He's clearly not happy. And this is the simplest way that I've found to begin understanding how you start a gesture drawing, what your habits will be, and a good foundation for flowy action, alive looking poses. So I recommend that you don't just study these five images that are included in the link below. I once again recommend that you take your own images, find images online. I'll have a link to a gesture drawing website that I use all the time in the link below as well. And just go to town, just go to town on these. And definitely we have a discord as well. Submit your stuff in our discord. We have a section called the creative corner. Go submit your stuff in our discord and you can join our community and put your work in there and, and you can get feedback and just show off your stuff. And I'm sure you're doing great. I'm sure you're, you're kicking it. Buttocks. Okay. So this is part one to our gesture drawing series. I'm not sure how many parts there are going to be yet, to be honest. I'm kind of making this up as I go. I mean, I'm a professional artist. There's, there's no mistakes here. I'm not making this up as I go along at all. But I hope this guide to starting a gesture drawing has really helped and I would love to see your work. So once again, post in our Discord. That'd be fantastic. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please let me know if this assignment helped you in the comments below. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future content, please leave a comment in the section below. And also, if you like what you see, hit me up with a subscribe and a like. That'd be fantastic. And also, if you can't get enough of me on this platform, I also stream weekly on Twitch, Monday through Friday. 11 a.m. Pacific time. And if you really like the content I produce, you can always support me on Patreon and get special shout outs in our videos like right now. <coughs> Jackie, Kano, Batman Lady, Kyle, and Ray. Thank you so much for your contributions to my channel. I really appreciate it. And you, are got, you guys are helping me out a ton. You have no idea. And I can't thank you enough. But thank you guys so much once again. I will see you in the next video for part two of our gesture drawing series where we add a little bit more detail and a little bit more intrigue. Is that the right word? <laughs> but either way, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.